What's up, you guys? Welcome back to Herodotus Learning, where we look at relics of the past. Today, what we have here is a World War II era mess kit. Everything that we have here. So, at first, I thought about doing a separate video on all three of these pieces, but for the sake of time, and you know, why not have them all here together? So, the first thing that we're going to look at is the Canteen Cup. Maybe you guys have definitely seen this in some of my previous videos with MREs. This thing is very, very simple. Take a look at the inside here. Very, very great design here. Here we have our marking. It was made by Lanners and Frary and Clark. Now with this, it's a very simple design. And to open it up, all you have to do is just put your fingers here and just pull like that. You take this knob here, with your thumb hold it here, and lock it there. And you have your little canteen cup. It's a very simple, very great design. You can have your coffee in here, cocoa beverage powder, whatever you need. Just hold it right in here. Now these things have definitely changed over the years. I wish I had my modern one next to me at the moment, but currently it's somewhere where I don't know where it is. But they have some ones where the handles here will bend open like that. But I mainly prefer the classic design here. Next what we have here is our canteen. Now this would hang on a soldier's belt here and there's a great video out there, I forget who, which channel that is, that talks about the history and changing of these covers in the canteen itself. But this is one of the later eras in the war. Got some markings there, belong to someone. Obviously here, see here, your thigh would be probably somewhere right there. Very simple chain here. Hear that squeak. Try opening that in the middle of the night. Get whether you're in the Pacific or somewhere in Germany, that would definitely get you caught. But yeah, store your water in here. Now this one does have the plastic tip. Some of them did have the metal one. I've seen some with the cork. Does not last very well, but this one has stood the test of time. As for the flap here, we got a little canvas on the outside and some nice, feels like wool on the inside. I guess I did, this is for your belt over here. And to put it back in, you just take your canteen. Sliding in like that. Now, some other covers that you see here have the flaps here that will cross into the other ones here. See the other pins here, but I really don't like that version. I like this. It's a very simple. All you have to do is just push, and it opens pretty easily. Kind of uses the M1 carbine clips here. Very similar to that. Yeah, when you look at the two here. This is the canteen. This is an M1 carbine clip here, or the covering, whatever you want to call it. Very similar when it comes to one of these buttons here. And lastly for our mess kit is the kit itself. Oh, I just noticed that you got someone, I see an M there. Can't really tell what it's trying to say here. Probably someone's name. Uh, here you can hang it if you want to dry it off. But you use it to open up like this. And then you guys have definitely seen me use this in other videos before. So to open it, you just have to squeeze here and pull open. You have your little tray here. Put your little rations there. Put your utensils down. Let's 
got three nice little bolts here. Look at the utensils here. So first off, we have our spoon. US on there. Now this is a really big spoon. It's not a little teaspoon. It's just about a tablespoon, you could say. Next, we have our knife. Great for spreading your peanut butter or jams. Very helpful out there. And lastly, we have our fork. It's a four prong fork. By the way, in case any of you were curious to see the manufacturer, let's hope this thing picks up. Come on. There we go. There you go. And there we have them. Complete set there. And we're back. So now that we got everything laid out here, let's talk about some of the stuff here. So first, a lot of soldiers early on began to notice that when you carry everything here, it just makes everything in your haversack a lot heavier than it should be. So what a lot of soldiers did is they began to ditch these and they just carry whatever rations they had if they had to. Another con about this here is when you're walking or marching or wherever you're at, It makes a lot of noise and you can easily be caught if you're unlucky. So people began to leave these behind. I don't know the exact data on that, how many people decide, hey, let's leave this behind. But people chose not to leave these in their haversacks because it just made a lot of noise and they figured let's just reduce the noise and they would just carry this or their canteen cup, that too. Obviously this can make a lot of noise when you fold it up here. makes a little jingle. One of the pros of this is everything is compact. You can just store everything in there, fold everything up and go. That's the best part about these things here. With this here, obviously it folds up. It's very compact. You can easily fold it up and everything as we've seen. And then we have this. This is very essential to carry in the battlefield, whether it's just for drinking, gotta pour some water where you need it, or just to you know, put some water in your head when you're hot out in the Pacific. So this was very essential. And yeah, this feels so nice. That didn't last too well there. Yeah, if you look at this one here, it's got a very faint US on it. Don't know what that is. Probably nothing. Well, this is all I have for you guys today. I hope you really enjoyed the video. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow our Instagram page, and I'll see you guys next time. Keep on learning. Take care.